If you own a business or you're thinking about starting a side hustle, you'll want to take some notes right now because in honor of Small Business Month, we brought in a super successful entrepreneur and one of our favorites, Emma Green. We love Emma. Her portfolio includes major brands such as Skims and Good American. And today, Emma is guiding our viewers in the art of a good sales pitch. Hi, Emma, yes. we just want to mine your brain because yes. you really hit the jackpot when it comes to small businesses. So if you're a small business, there are probably certain mistakes that they make going in. What are the top couple mistakes that small businesses make when they're beginning? Well, the first thing is to think that you should be, you know, free of mistakes. We <laughs> We all make mistakes yeah, right. and that's completely fine you cannot let your fear hold you back from making mistakes so yes. that's the first thing that I'd say mm -hmm. but also I think that people really focus on the competition too much yes. you really need to focus on what makes you unique and what makes you different what's the difference in your proposition ah. that's really going to set you apart mm -hmm. so in the, you know this era where there are a ton of small businesses mm -hmm. everybody has an idea what helps you stand out mm -hmm. well I think really understanding what problem you're solving for mm -hmm. you know great businesses are always looking at like where's that white space opportunity what am I doing differently and how can I uniquely solve a problem and I think if you focus on that you'll do really well I like Love that it. so find a problem and solve it. absolutely okay that's important and what about social media oh, yeah. oh it's a must I mean it's so interesting actually because I feel like social media has been such a buzzword around businesses and it can be overwhelming if you're not part of the generation that grew up with social yes. media I really think about it as like how are you speaking and reaching your customers and how how do you create community and also create value because the best thing about social media beyond the idea of sharing your business is how do you create and cultivate a community around what you're doing and make them your best advocates and also do you understand your business because you were yeah. on Shark Tank and you had to do like a 30 second pitch and in NBC I used to have a, an executive producer who said tell me your story in one sentence and you if, you have the elevator not, pitch. if you could not say it you didn't understand yeah, your story that well is enough. so true so what how do you cultivate a good 30 second pitch well again it's really about understanding what makes you unique mm -hmm. like what are you trying to do what are you solving for and then just giving it and delivering it to customers so what would be the in an understandable yeah. way yeah. What would be well you know skims? it's like we are making I think if you think about skims it's really about doing something that exists in the market yeah. but doing it in a whole a new, new way, way. Yeah. so we're not about you know flattening all of your assets we're about making the most of your body and providing solutions to women when you think about good American we're about creating beautiful accessible clothes for yeah, everybody. everybody and so I think that you've really just got to nail it and explain yeah. to customers like why is it for them oh my okay. gosh that is so great okay so we have a couple of folks from small businesses and they're going to give you their sales pitch first I up, cannot wait we have Carrie Sporer uh -huh. and Meredith Krill they are the co-founders of Swear S-W-A-I-R <laughs> it's a showerless shampoo All okay right. ladies y'all ready to pitch yes. Emma okay go ahead we created Swear Showerless Shampoo, uh -huh. a hair care product that cleans your sweaty hair quickly. <laughs> okay. We met training for the marathon and we hated the fact that we had to wash our hair in the shower after every sweaty run. Dry shampoo just couldn't handle that amount of sweat. Yeah. So we started calling labs to bring our dream product to life. Now all you have to do is spray, <laughs> towel dry. Wait, what? And then air dry or blow dry and you can go from sweaty to ready in five minutes or less. Wait, wow. what are you talking about? <laughs> no wow. I need this product. Yes. I need this yes. in my life. Everybody needs yes. it. Everybody How does. they do, Emma? What do you I feel like you guys did really well because my first thing was like, how's it different from dry yes. shampoo? And you immediately addressed that. And I love the fact that you both come here with your hair looking fabulous <laughs> because I feel like you used that to get there today. You did a great job. Really Thank, great. You. Thank you. Awesome. Guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you right. so much. Meredith. Now let's bring our next lovely lady and we have Mariana Rivera uh, Vieira, the founder of Brigadario Bakery. Brigadero Bakery. Bakery. Okay. okay. Come All on. right. You got the Brazilian this pitch. morning. So, uh, Brigadeiros, this is Brazil's national sweet treat. Uh, why they're so special? They're very simple milk and chocolate truffles. Uh, I want you guys to try it because I feel for desserts, <laughs> there's nothing like that sells more than flavor. Yes. Oh. Uh, and what is special before is the consistency. Can we come up and grab Please. one? Yes. 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 Help you. Yes. Here, we'll help you. Chocolate is the, the best. One, yeah. Okay, Emma, Thank you, you. I'll get one for me. Okay. Okay. Right Come on, girl. Here, here, here's your. <laughs> and why oh. guys try? I want to show like. Okay, hold on. Are we biting straight into? Yeah, it? I, think I think we so. are. We get a. They are like slowly cooked truffles mm. uh, oh my that God. are like so indulgent and perfect. Mm. Uh, and this is for me mm. is what represents Brazilian 
joy. Uh, so that's why mm. I brought this concept to New York. We have a store in Soho, and we can get those ship it to your house anywhere in the U.S. Talk Easy. to me. Talk to us. <laughs> yeah, tell us. No. <laughs> I can tell you're a little nervous, which I understand <laughs> because you are on national TV. Yes. And the most important thing when you pitch is to feel really self-assured. You're bringing something into the market. There's a sense of discovery in what you do. So there is a whole story to tell there, right, yeah. about Brigadeiros. What does it mean in Brazil? What do you bring mm -hmm. to the customer here? So I feel like you want to stand tall and feel good about your pitch because this is delicious. They oh, you yeah. should feel great about <laughs> you. Congratulations. Mariana, thank you. Finally, we have LaParis Phillips. Okay, uh -huh. she's the what owner of Brooklyn Blooms. Hi, LaParis. Hello. How wow. are you? Wow. How are you? Yeah. So Okay, you ready for your pitch? I am ready. Let's okay, go. Go okay. Ahead. Hello, I'm LaParis Phillips, the owner of Brooklyn Blooms, and I started Brooklyn Blooms in 2015 with a passion of fashion and mm -hmm. culture and art. It's my love. I infuse it into my designs, something that you don't see often. Mm -hmm. And I need to fill a void because you don't see me in the industry very often. Um, I have two shops, and when you walk to our shop, you hear great music, you get great customer service. Whoa. And it sets us apart from any flower shop. So we can come to a neighborhood, neighborhood excuse me, a neighborhood near you in any place, and we can create beautiful arrangements just for you. Oh, Gorgeous. awesome. Beautiful. I actually think you did a really great job with yes. that pitch because you told me what sets you apart, what makes yes. you different. Yeah. You come into your store, you've got the music, you're doing something like you really did. differentiated in the market. And that's the thing that you will need to really focus on. What makes you different and unique from every other florist out there? And I feel like just looking at this, I get it straight away. Looking at this thing is the lady. You. You've look got at the it. You've got it going. Yeah, look at the visual. Yeah, it works. You know, it works. Wow. <laughs> thank you, LaParis. Thank you, LaParis. Thanks you. to all of our ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and Emma. Thank you so much.